Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we'll be traveling to Mercury. Alright guys, so today we got a bit of stuff to do. Um, as you can see, I'm working on uh, getting my health things uh, set up, my health points added up. And uh, it seems like ink sacks are pretty good at doing that, since uh, you can get ink sacks uh, with all the bone that we have, and just throw it in the, uh, in the atomic um, thing over there. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, yeah, it just changes it straight to ink sack, so, um, you can get a lot of health points. I mean, this is a lot of health points, um, at the moment. And I'm just gonna use those, because if we need to use our jetpack and stuff, we can just use this, use our health points, and it's gonna keep us alive, even if we don't have any oxygen. Um, but today we're gonna try and go to another planet, and get the warp core built, and do all that fun stuff. So, um, this guy is working on... Uh, processing down here. We need to go ahead and get the stuff for the warp drive or the warp core. Um, as you see right here, we had one warp core is what we need. Oh, I got to use this. I forgot. All right, warp core. Here is our warp controller. We need a warp core. This is going to require some advance. Another copper coil. Man, they just want me to be frustrated with these copper coils. These are so frustrating. Looks like we're going to have enough for, like, just one. Perfect. That's fine with me, as long as I can get just one of them. Okay. One warp core. And everything for the warp core. Awesome. We need an achievement. Warp. Sweet. Alright, we also need a warp controller, so I might as well get the warp controller made. Um, we're going to need that later on. Okay, it looks like we just need our two chips, and of course these guys. And that gets our warp controller. We're going to need that later on to warp. What is this warp module? I'm not seeing that yet. That's from calculator. All right, let's go ahead and grab this out of here. Look at that. We got more more uh, health points than we do life points. Or, uh, yeah, we got more of that. By the way, we got tons of uh, singularities at the moment. Uh, these have just been going while the server is running. So, of course, it's going to be a lot of them. But, yeah, that's, kind of, that's quite a bit. Uh, we do need these... Um, you get two of the, um, whatever they're called, let's see, can't, it isn't actually even showing it, um, but the smaller version of those. Okay, so we have that, let's look at it here. Uh, we need the titanium blocks, we need 15 titanium blocks. And hopefully we have enough, because I've been processing a lot of titanium. We need 15 of these. Please be enough. Perfect. Oh, that was like the main thing. Okay, and we need uh, structure blocks. These guys, the this right here, the machine structures. Four of those. Ah, just short. Luckily, we have a little bit more chrome, so we can get some of that processed real quick, and uh, hopefully be on our way. Let's just throw the metal press back on here. And throw all chrome in there. Okay, what else does it require? Input hatch, which is going to require another one. And then uh, two blocks of gold. And I think that's it. So we're going to need the input hatches and stuff like that. And that's about it. And as soon as we get the warp core, like we already have our warp controller. As soon as we have that warp core set up, we should be good to go. Can you Can you not? Can you just get out of here? Thank you. Try not to break the ground. By the way, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but, uh, yeah, I went ahead and upgraded our, uh, ore miner to a tier two. I could, I didn't have enough stuff, um, or at least I didn't have the patience to, uh, turn this into a tier two, but it's doing its thing. They're both doing their thing. They're doing pretty good. So I'm not too worried about that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get these done. All right. So we should have enough stuff to get this done. I look at it. We got three, then be four, and then one more for our input. Um, I had to search up some uh, dilithium and I have the rest that was in here processing. So that is good. Let's go back to what was it? Uh, advanced. Advanced rocketry because we're going to need an input hatch. Or actually that's lib. Input hatch. Always needing chests. 
Input hatch. Okay. So we got an input hatch, then we need two blocks of gold. Easy enough. Some gold. We already have two blocks. There we go. Ready to go. And I think that's it. I think that's all we need, right? Four structure blocks, input hatch, block of gold, a warp core. Yeah. I love it says titanium block or titanium block or block of titanium. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, I'm just basically waiting on a lot of this dilithium to process because that's what it uses to power it. And uh, the dilithium also has to be cooked. So we do have some more dilithium in here that I have already processed. Um, right here. And you just put that through that grinder and it'll give you two because I think we have to put this in the crystallizer. Yeah. So this has to go in the crystallizer before we can even get started um, with this. So let's go ahead and get that put into the crystallizer. And let's hope that it doesn't take forever. This is our crystallizer. We just need this going. All right. So it looks like it's going to take a little bit, but um, it's not going to be that bad. Um, I think I got time. Time to look this process. I really should have been doing this yesterday um, before the server well, and left the server up overnight. So that way this could have just processed and would have been fine. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some other things done. And then hopefully by when I come back, we will be able to go to space. And I mean deep space. Okay, so while I was waiting, I decided I was going to try and go ahead and get this wireless terminal crafted up. Um, I've also been kind of monitoring um, our system over here. Let me go down here. Let me go check. Um, I'm pretty sure most of it should be changed over, but I want to get a bunch of it. A bunch of these crystals. Um, and we can, yeah, these should be just about done there. Let's go ahead and fill that back up. Okay, so we have quite a few crystals. So getting getting started at the moment should not be too hard. I think we should be fine for the for now. But I really want this crafting terminal, and I want it set up. Um, so let's go ahead and get in here and making this uh, crafting terminal. So I got most of the stuff done. Um, I went ahead and set up automation for these energy cells, so it made it a lot easier for me to make them because, as you can see, that's a just a bunch of stuff I would have had to do. Um, so I just automated them, and that made it a lot easier. I made a crafting pattern for it. Okay, I already, let's go back to our main area. I already made one of these, um, the wireless uh, access point. Um, it's pretty easy to make, so I'm not really going to show you how to make that, um, but it's super simple. I think it requires one of these pearls, and yeah, it's, it's pretty, really simple. All the stuff's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, we need to make this wireless terminal, so now we have it. And we should be just about done here. I think we just need this ender pearl. And I thought we had the crafting terminal. Did I not make it? I'm pretty sure I made it. Ah, I was missing the uh, I was missing a chest. That's right. Under our crafting table. Awesome. And once we have this, we will have our card. Um, we'll also need something that I just I don't currently have. Oh, never mind. I thought we were going to need it, but I guess it go ahead. It converts RF into this power. As you can see, man, it is draining our card. This holds a lot of power. You know what? Let's just go ahead and store it in here um, along with this because we need both of these powered up. Um, I guess while we wait, we can go ahead and get our singularities. Um, these, the quantum entangled singularity, that's what we need. So we have two of these and we only need six for that infinity booster card. Um, but I was also told that you there's a possibility of getting them from a, um, what's it called? From the, uh, I can't even think of the name of it at the moment. Um, but I, I don't know if this has to go in the actual card itself or inside of the wireless booster. Or not the wireless booster, inside here. Because in here there's slots for wireless boosters. Um, they go in here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but I need to go ahead and, and while we're waiting here, I need to get these. Let's make some tiny TNT. Or actually, we need to be over here. Tiny TNT. Let's tiny TNT it up. 
that's plenty. Way too many, actually. Um, and some levers. And we can go ahead and get our singularities. I think it says ender dust is created by uh, macerating ender pearls. So you just need some ender pearls. Hey, when it does that, ender pearls. We can do eight ender pearls. It's plenty for now. And yeah, we'll just macerate them. Let's get our upgrades. There we go. That makes it pretty fast. And we'll have our ender pearls in there. All right, these guys are charged up and ready to go. Okay. So we'll store that, and now we have this. Okay, so we should be able to shift-click on our terminal, correct? Or do we have to... How do we link our card? Um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to link. Press shift, okay. Status unlinked management card or magnet card. Okay, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Alright, so apparently we need a security terminal. A ME security terminal. We have to put this inside the security terminal. Um security terminal. What does that even look like? I don't think I've used the security terminal before. Ooh, so it requires a 16k, it requires this. All right, so it just requires an Emmy chest here. No big deal. The only problem is getting this, getting the monitor. Illumination planes are not hard. All this is pretty simple, um, and we should be able to make Emmy chest. There we go, Emmy chest done. Now the 16k should be easily crafted. Just one. Um, it may take a minute uh, for all the stuff to process, but we should easily be able to get one of those. And then we'll have to make one of those, and I think we'll be good. We'll be good. I think we we can actually monitor the uh, crafting status of it right here, and see that it is actually making like the main thing we're wait waiting on is our circuits and stuff to be made. And other than that, we're good. It estimates. 25, that's not correct though, there's no way. 25 seconds. This is taking way longer than that. Mainly because it also has to make these redstone, which take a little while to make. So. But those are done, okay. We're just waiting for pure certus quartz. Um, pure certus quartz is gonna take uh, like a few minutes to do. So other than that, everything's looking good. Yeah, pure service quartz should have all that done real shortly. Um, I say we could check on it. Really don't want to interrupt the process. Yeah, these guys are definitely in there. Kind of see them down there. Bubbling. Doing their thing. Whole bunch of them in there. So. Awesome. Let's go back up. And as you can see, they're all finishing. There we go. So yeah, I kind of love the auto crafting of those things. Um, there's a lot that has to go on for them to be auto crafted. Um, and it looks like we're waiting on the last few things. And then we'll be able to link this card and use it anywhere so we have access to our network. That will be amazing. Let's look at our 16. There it is. So we're good. We're golden. Bam, there's our security terminal. Let's go ahead and place our security terminal um, somewhere that's not over here. Um, we can honestly link it um, to our main system here. And I'll just set it right here. And we should be able to put our card in here and now it is linked to our system. Awesome. And I should be able to make that infinity, boost, uh, infinity booster and now we can access it anywhere. And it's pretty nice. Doesn't use much power while we're in it. Um, I think right here is that booster slot. So let's look up the infinity booster. So we have regular boosters. Uh, we need those though. All right. So infinity booster. 
we need a phantom. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the phantom made. And we should have everything for that. And we're missing diamonds. Pretty straightforward. I think it was just four diamonds, to be honest. Oh, we got so much stuff on us. Let's go ahead and store some of these things away. Which we need that. Um, I think we're good, though. There we go. Okay. Let me just take this off. Place it in here. Get our diamond team. And bam. Okay. Phantom booster done. Okay, we have a wireless card, and I think we have a wireless receiver. Let's see. No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to need, what was it for the wireless receiver? Just this. Just some Fluix dust, which is never that bad. Never hard to get. We only need one. You know, we may have to make Fluix crystals. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we should have everything to make this, um, minus the singularities. So let's go ahead and make those singularities. Um, we need to take these. I'm going to take them all out and place them in here. We'll do six, since I have six ender pearls. Or eight ender pearls. Actually, we'll do eight. Go ahead and do eight. There we go. And uh, we'll set some TNT off. Lever, and we're good. So it should work within the range of the tiny TNT. Um, we can honestly do it over here. Just kind of get away from everything. I think over here is perfectly fine. We can do it right here. The tiny TNT does not blow up very big, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and put our lever down. All right, and we'll take these two and we'll throw all of them on here. Set off the lever. Bam. And simple as that. And look at all those singularities we got. Okay, I guess they don't stack. That is very weird. Okay, so that's all of them. It's weird that they don't stack like uh, you'd think they would. But, oh well. They should stack in here, I think. That's so strange, they don't stack. I'm surprised. I don't know why they just are two. Oh well, but now we should be able to make the uh, infinity booster, correct? Wow, they take up their own slots. They don't even stack in here. There we go. There's our infinity booster card. Okay, we can drop this and put that in there. And now we have an Infinity Booster card. So that should mean we can now even go to space and access our inventory anywhere we're at. So I can now access our inventory. That is awesome. That is awesome. So now we have access to our Dilithium. Awesome. So we're good to go to space, I think. I'm pretty sure that we are all set to go to space. You know, I had that iron on me. I really didn't need it. Okay. So let's go to uh, space here. You know what? We have to go all the way back to our base or our home. Because um, I'm not using rockets to get to our uh, our space station. I'm actually using RF tools. So all I did was place down another matter receiver inside of our RF tools dimension and with a vibrant capacitor. I got some more vibrant capacitors over here, by the way. I'm storing a lot of energy. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and up on here and we should go straight to our space station and I did a few oh here's where our health thing comes in handy as you see our health points are actually being used um, and it's gonna keep us pilled even though we don't have oxygen but I'm gonna go ahead and put my spacesuit on there we go we are looking good even though that oxygen warning will go away there it goes um, our spaceship is up here I tried to get the uh, docking station to work but I think I'm gonna put my uh, Put the thing that we're going to make today back here. The uh, warp drive. So yeah. The warp core is going to go right here. 
So let's go ahead and start building it. Here is our warp core. Titanium blocks. Did I move them? I must have... Oh yeah, I thought they were iron. I was like, why do we have iron? Okay. Um. Oh no, they're right here. I thought they were going to be purple, but they're not. Whoa. The jumping really gets me. That really does get me. And this is a block of gold. Okay, and then we'll go one up. Um, this is going to be our structure blocks. And one block of gold. One block of gold. There we go. Alright, and we can go ahead and go up again. And of course, it is just more of the titanium blocks. Titanium blocks and then a input hatch. There we go. And I should be able to click this thing and it will thus turn on. Look how cool that thing looks. Okay, um, up top. Um, in the input hatch is where we put the dilithium. Let's get the dilithium. See how cool having this uh, this card is? I mean, that is awesome. That is perfect. Okay, so it does have like a, a storage buffer. So we have that thing full. And now the animation's changed. How cool is that? Okay, so now I can go up here, take our warp controller, and place our warp controller right here. All right, we're going to have things. It says right here, nowhere to go, fuel cost one. Okay, so we can select our planets now, and I see that um, you don't have to research them like I thought you had to, so um, researching them is not a thing. But we do need to find Mercury. I think I want to go to Mercury first. Um, we do need Mercury for one of, the, uh, one of the items that we need. I was also told that there's a planet called Titan, or a moon called Titan. I'm guessing it's a moon. So we can go here. Select Mercury, select, and now hit Warp. It's going to tell us it's going to cost 139 of those things, so, um, of those crystals. So let's Warp. And look at this. Look at this animation. How cool is that? Awesome. And we are here. We're above the planet. Um, here's a thing we can do. Should be able to tilt a little bit. And thus we can see the planet. And there's, of course, our warp drive. Like Star Trek. And uh, this guy right here. As long as it has your planet ID chip or your station ID chip, we should be able to get into it. And now we can go to Mercury. Okay. But uh, let's let me get it. Go ahead and get in here. Uh, look at our fuel level. Okay. Um, hopefully we have enough fuel to get there. I'm pretty sure we do. But yeah, it's so cool how this works. Looks like we're completely sideways. But it should not take as much fuel. And you can also click on your rocket to fuel it completely while, uh, while you're in it. All I had to do was click down and, uh, fueled my rocket all the way up with one click from the pressurized fuel tank. So yeah, this is, whew, that was really trippy. Okay, and we're gonna descend to Mercury. And I guess while we're descending, we can go ahead, oh, I did not mean to do that. I guess I'm falling? Um, yeah, I better put those boots on. And I better put my jetpack on. I did not mean to jump from the spaceship so early. Yeah, I almost died from... Okay, so we're on Mercury. It's kind of weird. I'm not actually taking damage as long as I have my space helmet on. But it's kind of weird. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put my entire spacesuit on, just so I do have oxygen. 
Um, and we can just go ahead and mine here, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and throw my upgrades in it. Like three and five. Three and five. Okay. We should have some room. Totally got room. All right, so my space station is right there. Let's go down. And it looks pretty bland, but there should be mercury. I don't know what at level this stuff is. Mercury ore. Mercury is down at Y level 7 and up. Okay, so down, all the way down. Um, I could go ahead and get this. Null charm. This will make life a lot easier. Let's null out this, this, and this. And we can go ahead and pop in our ring of magnetization. And null out everything. Okay. So this should make it a little bit easier. Oop, there's some rubies. Yeah, we gotta go way down here. And I'm assuming we're gonna hit, like, uh, lava. Hopefully we don't hit lava. Um, that would kinda suck. But yeah, as you see, my oxygen is doing just fine. Like, I'm not too worried about my oxygen. I'm also listening for lava. I don't wanna just accidentally fall in lava. I know I would stay alive because I have those health points, but still don't want to risk it. Okay, what is this? This is mercury. So look at all this mercury. Okay. So what level are we at? We're at 10. Probably go down a couple more. Yep. I think right around here is going to be where we need to be. And this will net us the most mercury. Oh yeah, we're looking pretty good. Um, we may not even need a spacesuit in on Mars. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about it. Um, make sure we have all of this cleared out so we can collect all of that mercury. Because um, we are going to need it for a few things. A mechanism. I looked up and kind of seen what it was going to be used for. And it was definitely used for stuff dealing with mechanism. That's about it, honestly. That's really all I've seen the use for. But yeah, we are on Mars. Like, we have other planets to visit, so, um, like, we don't need to stay here too long. And we do have a few other planets to kind of to look at, but this is one for now. Uh, the other ones I may do off camera, I don't know. Um, it all depends. I think I might do them on camera. But this episode, we're kind of pushing for time, so... Because um, we've done a lot. Like, getting this Infinity Booster... Like, I can, I can access it here on Mars. I'm accessing our entire inventory and crafting abilities. Everything on Mars. How cool is that? I love that thing. It's actually my first time making this thing. I've only seen it being used. Um, but yeah, okay, so we need to kind of go up. And I'm surprised we have cobblestone on us. Um, shouldn't. So I got two stacks. We can always come back here. Um, and then I can always set up, um, like eventually I can set up uh, some more of those receivers. And we can just go back and forth any time and we don't have to use our space station. But yeah, setting up a little quarry like this, just mining straight down. A um, little 5x5, five five, that should get you plenty. We should have enough mercury to last us for a while. Because I didn't see too much or too many uses for it. It was really only used in mechanism for just a few things. So yeah, we're already back up. Okay. And then we can hop back on our space rocket. And it will take us back to our space station. Pretty sweet. And of course, we always have this. I did make a little glass thing. I used flawless glass from Calculator. And uh, I noticed that flawless glass has like a skinnier border around it. Unlike the, um, the clear glass from Environmental Tech. This has a 
an even thinner border. I just wish it didn't have this border at all. That would make it a lot easier, a lot nicer looking. Be like a solid dome of glass, but you know, it didn't work that way. All right, just make sure it has enough fuel, and then we're good. This is like when you have that controller, it's so trippy. Let's auto descend. It is so trippy looking though. But yeah, the, this world looks a lot cooler than Earth. But yeah, it looks like we're falling. It's pretty cool though. Gotta admit. And I kind of made the uh, space station kind of look like a ship. Yeah, I should be able to get out now. I kind of wanted a landing pad. You can have a landing pad, but I think it's fine landing on top of the ship. It's not a big deal. This guy, though, super cool looking. All right, so we can store some of our stuff. We got mercury ore. Well, I think that was a good mission for today. I know it's a lot darker, um, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty good mission. We got a bunch of mercury, and if we look at mercury, uh, we need liquid mercury, and I was going to show you guys what it's actually used for. There is this blend that is something that will be used to, um, I guess it's used, okay, it's used for more stuff within this. This is used, yeah, it's not really, that's not really used for anything. Um, but yeah, this is used for mechanism. Let's see, this right here, pretty sure. Right? Yeah, it's used for this. It's used for the um, electrolytic, right? Yeah, electrolytic core. Um, it requires that for this, and yeah. But the metallurgic infuser fuser is kind of one of the things that we're going to probably have to get right away. Um, it does trigger H12, so we'll be getting to that really soon. Very soon, and then but from there, like, or uh, quadrupling is something that you can do. Uh, but yeah, I really like this. All we have to do is make sure we have some uh, pressurized tanks full of fuel, and we can travel to other planets now. Um, and if we look at our warp core, pop up here real quick. I want to see the top of this. See how much fuel it actually used. It didn't use... I think there's a buffer. I really do. I think there's a buffer inside there, so I don't know how big the buffer actually is. But let's look at our di dilithium. Or DI. Dilithium. I think we have all of our crystals currently in there, so. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Man, I, I'm, I'm just excited over this crafting card. This Infinity Booster thing is awesome. I really, I'm really liking that. But yeah, well, if you guys uh, enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching.